What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we are doing a good old fashioned Charizard hunt. We have eight packs of Burning Shadows, which means we are going for the OG Rainbow Charizard, and we're going to mix in a graded collection uh, showcase as well. This time we have a PSA card as well as a BGS card. Um, and in theme with the episode, it for the PSA card, we have boom the rainbow rare charizard i think i might have showed this off once before on camera but uh i just love this card it looks so nice um i really love how it's how textured it is that's one of my gripes against i think starting team up and unbroken bonds i feel like the texture cards have less texture to them and so this one is a psa 9 i think the only thing that held it back there's like a white dots on this corner and maybe a little bit on this one but on that those look really nice um centering looks pretty good too so here we have the psa 9 rainbow rare charizard from burning shadows <clears throat> and so i should put this over here to bring us some good luck in our hunt assuming that he'll stay up and for our bgs card we have boom another <laughs> rainbow czar this one is bgs 9 one thing about BGS, it does tell you like the grading, like uh, what where it got um, degrades or the grade came from. So we do have a 10 for the surface, 9 on centering, corners and edges. I do believe that BGS is really strict on getting that pristine 10, uh, even compared to PSA. Because, I don't know, like as far as I can tell, that, that thing looks pretty well centered and I don't see any damage on the corner as far as I can tell at least um, so BGS I feel like is a little harder to get the 10 but uh, for Pokemon it seems like the standard is definitely PSA like by a huge margin while like things like uh, Magic the Gathering is entire almost exactly the opposite so that is it for the showcase and hopefully that will give us some good luck for these burning shadow packs let's get into our first pack and see how we do in this Charizard hunt all right, as we get into pack number one, friendly reminder that if you do enjoy the video, definitely do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And uh, if you're not already a sub, definitely hit that sub button as well. Uh, we do tons of Pokemon content and different other, some other TCGs as well, like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, sometimes Magic the Gathering as well, and different um, things. We've done Force of Will, Dragon Ball Super. Super and other stuff like that. Let's see, we have a Krogunk for our first pack. Pins here. A Whirlipede is a reverse. And then a Passimian regular rare. I feel like I pull this guy so often. It's a little frustrating. Alright, let's get into a Ho Oh pack. <clears throat> Burning Shadows, I feel like, was a pretty well rounded set. And, like, because they had the Charizard, like, I do feel like it's just such a. Uh, it's just opened very frequently opened is what I'm trying to say uh, you know you got the Ho-Oh you got the Necrozma obviously the Charizard just so many good cards uh, you got Guzma Acerolos a lot of good supporters as well you got the Dabbing Duskull this guy is super popular Caterpie you got a Beanbag Meryl another Caterpie for the reverse and an Electivire this art's a little busy don't think it does Electivire justice the, I think there's a Mag Mortar card though that looks. I don't think it's a good card, but like the art looks amazing. We'll see if we can if we pull that. Although it is just a regular rare. Okay, so far nothing too good. We're into pack number three already. Looking for some good hits. Let's see how we do. We have a Fairy Energy, Whirlipede, Tormenting Spray, Simisage. Noibat, Noibat's cute. Stuffle's even cuter. Mudbray's not bad either. It looks a little derpy though. We have a Tynamo. Oddish. A Charmeleon. Could that be a good sign? We have a Lycanroc Full Art. Look at all that texture. And they don't they don't they don't make texture like that anymore these days. Oh, I really like this Charmeleon Full Art. And boom, we do have a Full Art pull in this Lycanroc. Very nice. I'm gonna sleeve up this bad boy real quick. All right, very solid opening for sure. And let's keep going into this Necrozma pack art. See if we can't get one more good hit. 
As always, I feel like one is par and uh, two is a birdie, obviously. All right, can we do better? Let's see, we got Psychic Energy, Seedra, Gloom, Lunatone, Pampor, Cat pull a lot of Caterpies, Porygon, Sock, Oddish, Escape Rope Reverse, Escape Rope Pretty Good Card 2, and then we, oh wow, a Secret Rare Energy, very nice. Oh, another awesomely textured card. And uh, these energies, I feel like the value is surprisingly high. And I feel like this one will be always high just because, you know, people that want to swag out their decks, uh, this will always be like the best way. Man, that is very off centered. Not crazy about that. If I were to get this graded, I see a nick down here. A little bit damage here. I feel like this is uh, a nine, but the centering is way off. Even if it wasn't for those nicks, this thing is so off-centered. I don't know how off-centered something needs to be to get the OC grade, um, but oh man, this this opening is absolutely insane. Uh, we have a secret rare as well as a full art pull. <laughs> we saw four more packs, so I'm not sure how much uh, how much fire could be left, but we're, we still got some. We still got a couple more shots at it. Here we go into the next pack. We just broke the halfway mark and we already got those hits. This is amazing. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And all right, got another fairy energy. Oh, not as good as that gold one though. Sophocles, another escape rope. Rotom Dex, Inke, Ralts, Crub Brawler, Sneasel, a Venipede, a Lolan Vulpix, super cute, and then a Crubominable. <clears throat> into our Marshadow pack. Yeah, cute Charmander. All right, three packs to go. Already an insane opening. Let's see. This thing's also pretty off center. Hmm, what's going on here? All right, we have a Water Energy, Robombi, Sophocles. Escape Rope, Charmander, looks a little sad. Meryl, Pansage, Esper, a Pikachu, Electrova Electros for the reverse, and then, oh my gosh, this is absolutely insane. We got a full art, a secret rare energy, and then a full art trait supporter as well. And it is one of the, I feel like this, one thing about Burning Shadows, it has two monster hits as far as full art supporters, and this is one of them. The other one obviously being the full art Guzma. Uh, I would give the slight edge to Guzma, but uh, this one is absolutely amazing. Such a good card. Has a lot of, like, I feel like it's kind of, the situ it's a little bit more situational, uh, but its effect is so good. I feel like it can just, it can be really frustrating to your opponent where you put in work to knock something out, now with tag teams, and then they just ace roll it back to their hand. Um, as far as how the card looks, actually the edges look great. It is just that centering. Wow, that is like... This one, I do wonder if this could get the OC grade. Uh, let me know in a comment down below if you're familiar with PSA grading enough to... You know, do you think this warrants the OC grade? Uh, let me know in a comment below and if, if, if there's any uh, positive feedback, maybe I will send this into PSA once I get that ball rolling. But my gosh, this is like the best Burning Shadows opening I've done since ah oh, even though the ratio is uh like better than anything i've ever seen um i'll still give the edge to when we did pull that rainbow's art so this is as good as it gets without pulling a rainbow rare charizard i think all right we got two packs still darkness energy wick wishful baton this card's good uh robombi magikarp mudbray alolan rattata Pampor, a Caterpie, a Pan Sage is the reverse, and then a Rhyperior. Still don't have a Rhyperior in Pokemon Go. I have a bunch of Sinnoh Stones, a ton of Rhydons, but I don't, I don't feel like I need to evolve it because I don't, like I don't, won't use it, and I just didn't pull the trigger on just doing it for the Dex entry yet. But here we go, last pack. Don't need any last pack magic, but uh, we'll take it anyway. Here we go. We have an electric energy to start. 
Lunatone, Wick, Wishful Baton, again, a Rhyhorn, Sandy Gas, Hoot Hoot, Tangela, a Dewbiter, a Reverse is a Curlia, love this, this species, and then a Shenotic. I do not love this one. <laughs> so, my gosh, that was a monster opening. Uh, these Charizards, these nines, uh, gave us some really good luck. Not the exact pull we were looking for, but my gosh, let's go over these pulls real quick. And um, for a thing with three pulls, believe it or not, the first one that we're going to start with is a full art lichen rock. Insane. Then we're going to go to a awesome condition Acerola. Uh, especially if you can get that OC because of the how off center it is. And then a secret rare energy. Um, don't know how many are in this set, but I feel like I'm getting close. I think I have the fire one at least. And uh, now we have the, the fairy as well. So, wow, absolutely insane opening. Thank you, Charizards. Um, now we just need to find, uh, you know, your, your triplet brother. No. So... But insane opening, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.